All right. Some of these particles are on the screen. Some of them are coming from this thing that is supposed to say hello. This one does say hello. And if I bring it closer, uh, this will restart the animation. It at least comes in like this, though it's not necessarily writing the strokes. But when you first load up uh, the Vision Pro, it shows this like cursive um, hello. I wanted to try to do that. I found a tutorial that shows kind of how to do this. So that's what this first sample app is. So I follow the tutorial and show what's going on here. So there we go. Hello. Um, with a slight gradient on it. And then there's some animation here. And that was something that I drew on here. So I drew this and then I was able to export to an SVG. Bring that SVG in here, convert it into these paths. Take that and go here. There's this applies, this, there's this phase animator with an animation. If I take this like this gradient off, then it's closer to what we see uh, with this white. Yeah, so this is a little bit closer um, where, yeah, it's, a, it's a white. I can put it over her. And then the thing was, the letters are done. It's a 3D shape instead of the problem here is this is 2D and it's also flat. So while it's cool that it's writing the letters, um, it is invisible. Basically, if I go right along uh, that side. So I thought, great, easy enough. All I have to do is take a shape. I thought it'd be as simple as something like, um, so if you take this, create a rectangle, and then I, th I thought all I would have to do is take this and then extrude it with my hello cursive thing, and then I'd be good to go. I, I thought that there would be an easy way. There wasn't. So then I had to try to create it in like 3D modeling software. So, and so I made this in spline. There we go. This was the best I could get going with the 3D shape. I'll, I'll put this over her. Um, and then, yeah, you can see that there is a shape to this and you can look at my desk from the other side of this hello. Um, so I thought that was a little bit better, but yeah, and then, yeah, there's a slight interaction. So if I, if I tap it, it'll go back here. But what I wasn't able to do was get the um, kind of like writing animation to work. So how this worked was I, I brought it in from, again, Figma and then imported the SVG. So it was just the flat lines and then you're able to turn it into a stroke. Once you get to this stroke, then you can do, take this depth thing and then you should be able to animate it. State to base state when it starts. So let's take a look and there we go. Um, and then just make this more like three seconds with ease in and out. Uh, that's fine. And there we go. A little bit better there. But when I export it, it doesn't give me that full animation. Um, so I'll probably play with that some more. It might just be the limitations of like what can be exported. This, uh, another thing that I've been trying to do is get this in Reality Composer Pro. And I don't know anything. <laughs> I need to learn about shaders and particle effects, but um, I can show what happens when I export this. I have send this, let's see, sends it over and there we go. For some reason, it's like, uh, let me see. yeah, it's, it is doing the particle effects, but for some reason it's just doing it like this, um, where it's just like this stream here. So, and I can, you know, make, make this stream attack me. Um, and then, yeah, there's <laughs> particle effects and then this with my tap interaction to 
get it to do this animation, which is just like masking masking it so it's um, moving in and out here. Not a ton of progress for this uh, episode, but thanks for checking this out.